Friends, today is, sa is Saturday, March 12th, and we are continuing the wonderful verse we read yesterday. We're taking the second half. It is from the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 5, 23 and 24. And I'm going to show you something about this verse today that you may not have thought of, because I didn't think of it until I studied it for this devotional, um, despite my years of studying this, uh, these passages of Scripture. Matthew 5, 23 and 24. It's a worship setting. Now, Jesus is asking us to imagine what I talked about yesterday, that in worship, we are given a sensitivity often. As we stop our busyness, we quiet our minds and hearts, we listen to God, and God puts on our mind or heart someone with whom we have a relationship that's gone wrong. Has that happened to you? It's happened to me. And in that worship moment, God says, you know, if you're about to offer your sacrifice, Jesus says, if you're about to offer your sacrifice at the altar, now that would be in Jerusalem. So we are to imagine someone that has gone to Jerusalem. Where would they come from? Jesus is preaching to a crowd that is living in and around Capernaum. They're on the far side of the Sea of Galilee. They are 76 or 7 miles from the temple in Jerusalem. Now, in this day and age, you couldn't take a short flight, and you couldn't take a cab. And so people, ordinary people, would, when they needed to confess their sins and go through a, a ritual sacrifice in order to make their lives new, they would walk 77 miles. Now that's, let's break it down. Let's say you are a really energetic person and you could walk 15 miles a day. This would take you five, over five days to walk. You'd start on a Monday morning. You get there Friday afternoon or Saturday morning to the temple. And so in, you go into the temple and you confess your sins and you're in this moment of worship and suddenly God brings to mind someone that you've hurt back home in Capernaum. And Jesus says, you better stop offering your sacrifice. Just leave it there. I know you paid for it, and it won't be there when you get back. But I need you to take a week to go home, another five days or six days, to hike back home to talk to this person, spend as much time as you need to getting reconciliation before you return to Jerusalem and offer your gift. Wow. Wow. I mean, that is being serious about reconciling relationships. Why could does Jesus imagine that we'd spend half a month over some problem that we had? Do you ever think when you have a problem with someone, oh, it's not that big a deal? You know, it's not that big an issue. It would be awkward to try to explore. It might not work if we tried to reconcile. Maybe I can just let go of that relationship. It would be easier than going through all the bother of trying to fix it. Well... Jesus wants us to be agents of reconciliation, to be reconcilers, to be willing to stop what we're doing and make sacrifices, sometimes painful ones, to face things uh, that are broken in relationships, some that we're responsible for, some that we're really not, where it's not even our fault, but where there's something between us. We should initiate and, and be agents of that so that we can help to restore the things that are broken in our world. Our worship becomes real. Our ritual becomes real when it's connected to real efforts to make relationships whole. Let's take a moment and let's pray. Lord, this passage implies that our worship will be undermined and our sense of God's presence will be lessened unless our relationships are whole, unless we are making efforts to be reconciled. Now, sometimes those efforts will be rebuffed. Sometimes we will be rejected. But it's your promise and your intent that by reaching out in, in sensitivity to those people where there is brokenness in our, in our relationships, that you will make us more whole. You will open channels of your goodness and grace, your forgiveness and love in our hearts when we're willing to be reconcilers. May that be true for each of us this day and every day. Amen. Thanks for being with us this week.